Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the kitchen here in the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. This is Friday, uh, November 22nd. It's dark out, so I'm not doing much. I got out here very late. Uh, but I have been asked uh, on several occasions, how do I filter the water from my rain catchment? So, because it's dark and cold, I'm not going to take you around and show you the rain catchment. You've seen it plenty of times. Uh, my water barrels and downspouts and all that kind of stuff. And what I've got is a, a couple of filters between the pump and the sink over here. Uh, it, it does, they're not, you know, I don't drink that water. That water is perfectly clean for washing up, doing dishes. You can see, unfortunately, I did some dishes and forgot to put them away before I did this video. Uh, but for, it, you know, it's perfectly fine for that. For drinking water, I take it from the tap. And it's nice water anyway, what comes through here. Uh, but, let me get a glass so I can demonstrate it. This is a water first um, countertop reverse osmosis filter. This is a five stage filter, uh, including reverse osmosis. It takes everything out. It takes out Jardia and all of those kind of things. And it's very simple to use. It's got about one gallon, a little over a gallon tank that I fill out of the faucet. And then it goes through this filter system and all of its reverse osmosis. It's all, it has to be plugged in. I mean, this is way better than any, any of the drip filters out there. Um, and then it keeps about a half a gallon in like, the purified water sitting there, uh, kind of like on demand, before it has to run through the system again. Because it is a system to do the reverse osmosis. It's not, like I said, it's not just the charcoal filter I'm dealing with. But I can tell it I want four ounces and dispense. And there, hopefully it'll stop at four ounces. But this is what I'll use to drink with and make coffee with. Uh, make ice cubes. Okay, I hit something wrong, so I'll stop. You can also set it to dispense as much as you want. I don't think I clicked on the four ounces properly. But, as you can see, now it's working because it's filling that reservoir back up with pure water. And it's just, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's just as clean and clear as it can be. No taste to it. I mean, it's just pure water. I love it. And yes, I have two different coffee makers. In the mornings, I will percolate, I love percolated coffee. This is the best tasting coffee there is. But I have neighbors and friends who stop by at all hours of the day and night. And if they happen to want a cup of coffee, I've got the Keurig there that I can just throw a cake up in and make them a cup without having to, you know, percolate a cup or a pot. But yeah, that's my water filtration for my drinking water. And it does, that filter, it said it will last about a year. Um, I think it's around 8,000 gallons or so it'll last. And then you just pop the filter out, put a new filter in, and carry on. But it's very simple to use. That thing pulls off. I can pull that off and fill it up at the sink. Stick it back on here and have perfectly purified water. Anyway, I hope that makes sense for y'all. Uh, like I said, enough people were asking. And I was going to do a live stream tonight, but I got out here too late. So I'll just do one tomorrow. But there's my kitchen. And I did dishes, dang it. The first, I can't believe I didn't put my dishes away before I did a, a video in the kitchen. 
but I do do dishes. Uh, there's my cabinet, <laughs> my, my lovely refrigerator. And it was kind of neat, actually, my teapot there, because I heat up water for dishes. Uh, my Keurig, it all matches my cabinets. The old cabinets we bought, or somebody was going to throw them away. We snagged them and painted them. But uh, I have a hot water propane uh, tankless hot water heater I let Gary borrow to take down to Alabama with him. Uh, if I lived here full time, it'd be different. But just being out here on weekends, it's no biggie. Uh, if he doesn't take that down with him, we might hook that up in a couple of weeks. I have another one the company sent me. I'd give him. He can use it with a generator. But he could take a shower that way. And I could put the propane one up here and leave it permanent. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. But this is Joe out here in the kitchen in the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. Remember to like, share, comment, do all that kind of good stuff. And join me for my live stream tomorrow. I got my first birth or Christmas card today with a nice little gift inside it. That'll go a long ways in the house, my friends. And you know who you are. But I'll mention you in the live stream tomorrow night. Anyway, this is Joe. I'm out of here.